Hi friends. Today we are at Cape Canaveral and in less than a minute NASA's 300 million mile journey from America's shore to Jezero Crater on Mars will begin with the launch of Atlas V rocket into space and on the top of that rocket with beautiful sunrise shrouded in the protective fairing is Perseverance rover headed to Mars. 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 Ignition All engines running and we have lift off as the countdown to Mars continues the perseverance of humanity launching the next generation of robotic explorers to the red planet and Atlas to be engaged close loop control Coming on 30 seconds into flight our D-180 is throttling down as expected engine response looks good. And Mach 1 Atlas V is now supersonic. And passing 45 seconds into flight vehicle is passing through max key maximum dynamic pressure. and passing one minute into flight our D-180 is throttling back up as expected engine response looks good at this time in flight the SRB chamber pressures remain normal as the our D-180 pump speed and standing by for SRB burnout shortly and we have burnout on all four SRBS burnout pressure signatures looks good standing by for SRB jettison shortly and we have good indication of SRB jettison on all four SRBS and the vehicle has gone to closed loop guidance Vehicle body weights are responding nominally at this time. And coming up on 1 minute 43 seconds in flight our D-180 is throttled down slightly as expected engine response continues to look good. At this time the vehicle is 50 miles in altitude 85 miles downrange traveling at 6000 meters per second. Just past 2 minutes into flight our D-180 is now throttling to maintain a constant 2.5 G acceleration limit for payload fairing Jettinson engine response and vehicle acceleration looks good. And we have good indication of payload fairing Jettinson and bond formed load reaction DAC. The central reaction control system is now pressurizing to flight levels. And the RD-180 is throttling back to 4.6 grams acceleration engine response continues to look good. And Centaur has begun the boost phase to condition to the RL-10 operation. Standing by for Miko shortly. And we have Meko booster engine cut off. Standing by for stage separation. And we have a good indication of Atlas Centaur separation. RL-10 operation looks good chamber pressures are stable. All systems normal engine performance looks good. Standing by for Miko 1. And we have a good indication of main engine cutoff 1. Centaur has begun the ray boost phase to condition the RL-10 for operation. Standing by for main engine ignition 2 shortly. RL-10 re-ignition confirmed. RL-10 throttling up as expected engine response looks good. RL-10 operation looks good chamber pressures are stable. Throttle increased to 
Standing by for Miko 2 shortly. Main engine cut off 2 successful Atlas 5 Centaur now in coast stage. Standing by for Centaur separation. And we have a good indication of Mars 2020 separated from Centaur second stage. The Mars 2020 now separated from Centaur will begin its cruise to Mars covering total distance of 300 million miles in 7 months. Welcome again to Perseverance has completed its 8 months journey and will now separate from the cruise stage to begin its EDL stage. Standing by for cruise stage separation. Cruise stage separation confirmed spacecraft now has entered Martian atmosphere starting the EDL phase. Re-entry confirmed heat shield temperature starts rising. Peak heating heat shield reached maximum temperatures. Spacecraft decelerated to 500 meters per second standing by for parachute deployment. Supersonic parachute deployment confirmed standing by for heat shield separation. Heat shield separation confirmed. Spacecraft decelerated to 50 meters per second pressurizing the fuel tanks for power descent. Terminal guidance standing by for back shell separation. Back shell separation confirmed Ski crane now in operation now guiding the rover to its landing site. Descent speed lowered to 10 meters per second standing by for Sky Crane Maneuver. Sky Crane Maneuver confirmed spacecraft lowered down wheels deployed Perseverance now ready for touchdown. And we have confirmed touchdown. Sky Crane separate from rover.
On February 18, 2055 UTC Perseverance touches the surface of Mars at Octavia E. Butler landing site at Jezro Crater making history if you like the video please like and subscribe have a good day.